Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Station Plaza Wine and Spirits Virtual Tasting Series. I'm your host, Zach Glassman. Let's get started. Today we have the Arietta Vineyards Quartet, Napa Valley 2012 Red Wine. This is made from 57% Cabernet Sauvignon, 23% Cabernet Franc, 18% Merlot, and 2% Petit Verdot. It's made in limited production, only 1,300 cases made. Could explain the excellence found within the bottle. You can see from the color, it's a bright ruby. You can see right through it, almost to the center. Certainly not as light as you might find in a Pinot, but oh, well balanced. You can tell from the nose, licorice. Cedar, uh, vanilla. Blueberry pie. Interesting. The winemakers say blackberry pie. I have to disagree. I'm finding blueberry on this. Cooked blueberry like you'd find cooked into a pie. Lots of crust, graham cracker crust. Maybe a little whipped cream on top. But maybe that's just my personal preference. The nose on this wine is spectacular. It's got subtleties, but more than that, you can sense the complexity. Off the bat, well balanced. The Merlot provides the perfect balance the Cabernet and the Cab Franc. The Cab Franc can be a little overbearing at times. I think the Cabernet and the Merlot Cab Franc blend beautifully together. The Petit Verdot is there. You can taste it. Subtly. But it's there. Absolutely. Overripe blueberry, well integrated acidity. Uh, you get a little bit of burn from the uh, alcohol. It's 15%. It's a little high, but it's not the kind of burn that you get from a Zinfandel. Um, it's certainly not the kind of burn you get from, you know, hard liquor. It's definitely well integrated. This wine is complex. It is full. It's rich. still get a lot of that cassis. You still get a lot of that licorice. Um, you still get cedar. You still get vanilla. The vanilla is all over this. The tannins are not overly present. Very light. Um, in fact, exceptionally light. Uh, for a Bordeaux blend like this, you'd expect higher tannins. You'd expect uh, higher acidity. You'd certainly expect a more uh, prevalent sense of terroir. There's definitely an earthy note. I think I would like to attribute it to sage um, as much as slightly decaying earth. Um, there's nothing flawed in this. It's just... It hints at the ripeness of the fruit. Due to the limited quantity of this, I think this is going to go fast. I do. This was released two months ago. I would recommend this to anyone looking for an exceptional red wine under $60. Um, I think if you were looking for a straight cab, this might be a little bit light for you. The Merlot definitely adds some lightness to it. Um, but there's still significant heft coming in from that cab franc. I would recommend this for any occasion. I think this would be excellent with uh, a chocolate cake. I think it would be excellent with a blueberry pie. Um, I think you could use this for a porterhouse steak, and I think you would still find the complexity in this overriding anything else. This wine comes with a high recommendation, and for me, 95 points. And I'm not giving that light. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, today's Arietta Quartet 2012.
Bio Ball Lasts. And until next time, cheers.